Hey, 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 welcome to another Pandora episode. Here we're gonna check out which control pads work on the Pandora Games 3D or the Pandora Box Saga. Same systems, pretty much, so. That'd be good. But. Okay, here are my hands. Magic! Here's uh, an Xbox 360 USB pad. This one works pretty good, it's stock. Uh, the analog stick works fine in PPSSPPP. And so does the D-pad. Buttons are all good, except for, I think, a few of the buttons that switch around. Otherwise, pretty good. Sturdy, nice clickety-clickety, and USB. Okay, next one is pretty much a clone of that by Logitech. Uh, we have a little switch at the back. You can switch between D-input and X-input. Selecting an X-input works with our system pretty good. But compared to the Xbox 360 pad, we cannot use the analog sticks straight away in PPSS PPPP. PPPP. Outside of that, it's a very light pad. The buttons are a little clickier than the Xbox, and the D-pad feels very similar to a Mega Drive pad, which I like. Next one, this is a Logitech F710. It's very similar to the 310, but the buttons actually feel cheaper on this one. Yeah, they feel a bit more clicky, as does the D-pad. It doesn't feel as fluid as the 310. A pretty good thing about this pad is that there's no cables. Yes, it's a wireless pad. So you stick in your batteries in the back there and it'll work with the USB dongle. Yeah, wireless pad with your Pandori 3D. Sweet. Unfortunately, it's a bit heavier compared to all of the other pads on this list. Huh. Okay, the next one is good old faithful. It's the PlayStation 3 6 axis. Yeah, this one's a classic. We know how this feels. And yeah, we cannot use the Bluetooth, so we need to use this USB cable. So whenever you hit that little home button, you're probably going to turn on your PlayStation 3. The cable actually recharges the pads, so it actually uses a lot more power than the other pads in this list. Okay, this pad is from Datafrog. I got it from the AliExpress store. It's a pretty decent clone, actually. But it misses the six-axis thing in it. Uh, yeah. Same as before, we need this cable to plug in. Buttons, okay. Pretty decent pad. I don't mind this one. This one, however. This one I got from East Vida. Uh, it's very similar to the last pad, but... The buttons are even clickier, oh, really clicky, and the D-pad is pretty bad. It's a D-bad. Ah. Yeah, actually, the worst thing is uh, the material the body's made of, or the coating on it. I actually played with this for a bit and uh, started rubbing my eyes and nose and oh my god, it burnt. So yeah, we also have this website. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but we have it, and you can check out. Adding games, buying the Pandora box, controller compatibility chart, hey! So if you want to buy a controller for your Pandora box, you can check out this chart. It shows how the D-pad is, how the buttons are, how it's configured, blah, 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 how the price is, and if it works on your particular model. Yep, might be handy. We'll add to it in the meantime. Otherwise, bye!